everybody? Welcome back to an all new exciting episode of Conflicts. Today I'm pumped up to show you the all new Ginker X Shield Mountain Robot by GGS Robot. That is right, the good folks over at GGS Robot have created a brand new armor so you can go ahead and customize your robot. Now this particular armor set is exclusively only for the Chinese market, but we're here to go ahead and unbox it and showcase to you what the possibilities are. Now, the original one is right over here. This here is the Team USA model, uh, but this here is actually the original Ginker X that you can actually purchase right now in the link down below on Amazon. Now, we use this in Xi'an, China and actually battled it out at the WCG event, which was actually a lot of fun. But today we'll be looking at this particular model set. Now, this here is the Shield Mountain Robot based off a game called Glory of Kings, a very, very popular game in China. So this here is a robot or a mech robot that's actually showcased in the game. So they created a robot based off of that and incorporated it into the Ginker X. So it has its own battle strategy and battle fighting technique, which is kind of interesting to see. So in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So the box itself is kind of nice. So you actually have a I see a few different things here. So on the top here, it does show the robot and like it's glory, kind of like ready to fight. Uh, you can even see like a missile being launched over here and it says Ginker Rex. I'm sure that says uh, the uh, Shield Mountain right over here as well. So on the back here, you just see like the fighter here standing next to the robot. Uh, it says do it yourself so you can like build it and stuff of that nature. And let's go ahead and open this thing up next. All right, so you got a lot of boxes. So you get three boxes uh, and then you have yourself a user manual. So this user manual kind of explains step by step how to go ahead and build this. Uh, you'll see like it shows uh, a variety of different steps and variations just to get to the end and then I'll just kind of talk about it in the backstory here uh, and kind of give you a spec in terms of like strength, uh, shield and stuff of that nature. So it looks pretty cool uh, and that looks like the final outcome of it. So it should be quite exciting to see. Now we have our armor right over here. Uh, we have our remote and then we have our actual robot. So let's just go ahead and first start off looking at the, uh, the robot. All right, so this here is our box. So it looks traditional to the original Ginker X, uh, minus the fact that you do have, uh, it looks like a little tab over here as well. This will go ahead and just open up. All right, so we have our exoskeleton, I like to say. So this is part of it. And then we have our other portion of it right over here. Look at that. <laughs> that is cool. So uh, as you know, it's kind of just kind of clips into place just like this. And then everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Now we also have our battery pack, a USB cable, uh, and then we have our hands so we can go ahead and uh, yield weapons, but I don't believe this robot does, but uh, we'll find out very shortly with this particular armor. So we'll go put that down. So this here is everything here. So you have this exoskeleton, you kind of build off of it using the armor pieces, which we'll look at in just a little bit. And then you have our remote. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open this up. All right, so we have our standardized joystick controller. Uh, so look at that. So this here's the updated version or the newer model. Uh, so it's a lot more smoother than the prototype we originally reviewed. And it's actually got, it looks like more of like a, like a firmer kind of material, which is kind of nice too. Uh, so it's got that puppet kind of motion. So as you kind of move it about just like this, the robot will go ahead and mimic it exactly to the T. And then of course you have your strap. So this here is a strap that will go ahead and wrap around our waist just like this and lock into place. And then from there, you go ahead and mount the controller or the joystick on the front here. And then you'll just go ahead and control it just like this, you know, kind of fight about, which we'll look at in just a little bit. So that is our remote. Uh, again, very similar to the original Ginker X. Now this here is where it gets a little bit interesting. So this here is our new armor, which kind of looks cool. So I'm not sure what it says, but that looks like the logo for the shield mountain. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of armor pieces in here. Holy moly, that is a lot. All right, so we have a lot of variation of pieces, uh, a few different colors, a lot of like browns and tans. But you can see that there is a lot of parts to this guy. I mean, look at that. That's the hand. Look how big that is. And you got these big shields too. I'm really excited to see how this is going to look. Uh, so yeah, 
that's pretty much it. So what you do here is you just go ahead and build it, almost like you're building like a model car or like a model kit. Uh, definitely has a nice like Gundam kind of style to it, so should be quite interesting to see how this all plays out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and queue up that montage, build ourselves a shield mountain. <laughs> So we're all set and the build process itself was actually not that bad. Especially compared to the original Ganker X, this was a lot more easier and everything kind of just fell into place without any problem. Now the only issue I did have was mainly the larger piece here. It is actually pretty bulky and it's kind of hard to grab onto the actual uh, uh, original frame itself. But other than that, I think they did a great job. Now the quality of it is very, very nice. It's already pretty painted so it has that nice texture finish that you're looking for. And it's got a variation of colors and different kind of uh, textures and a very variation of different dimensions which is actually pretty nice too. Now let's go ahead and try this out. So we're going to go ahead and hit the power button on the back right over here. Here we go. Alright and then we'll go ahead and turn on our controller next. And then we'll go ahead and strap this on ourselves by simply wrapping around. There we go. And then we'll lock it in place by pushing the button up. Okay. All right, so our robot is connected. You can see that as we kind of move it about, the robot's kind of getting used to the movement. Uh, it's actually quite flexible for what it is. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> so you can see that it's got these big, big, like almost like fists that you can go ahead and punch with just like very strongly. And then you have this giant shield that you can go ahead and block with on the uh, left-hand side over there. Now, other than that, the movement of it is actually quite responsive for what it is. As you can see, you can move up, back, left, and right. And then from there, if I go ahead and rotate my body, the robot will also rotate itself as well. And then same with this part here. If you rotate the puppet part or the joystick part, you'll see that the robot will rotate too at the same time. So it's kind of cool on how they designed that. Now you can go ahead and do a combination like left, right, up, like that. And then uh, you can go ahead and like swing your momentum, just like that. Uh, the only thing I noticed so far is that with this robot here and the giant parts, it is seem like it's kind of catching onto the uh, frame itself. So if I just kind of do one of these maneuvers right over here, oh, that actually hurt. <laughs> um, I wonder how hard it actually hits. So let's try this. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> That actually hurt. Yeah, that thing is pretty strong. I mean, you can see that it's got these behemoths of a hand. And you got this one on the right and this giant shield on the left. So literally, it can go ahead and punch quite well and block itself at the same time very, very nicely. But you probably already noticed it does make some good amount of grinding sounds. Those sounds are actually resistance. So the servos are creating resistance, meaning it's not moving to the full capability that you would actually have with the original Ginkgo Rex, mainly because the parts are so bulky on this thing that it is not as flexible. Hmm. So it makes you kind of wonder exactly what you choose in terms of picking your own armor for your robot. Are you looking for something more stronger or are you looking for something more flexible and agile? So really up to you in terms of the fighter. Now with the that being said, <laughs> Now, with that being said, I think the next thing to do is go ahead and do a quick little test run and see exactly what this thing is capable of. All right, so for our first challenge here, we're gonna see if we can knock on Alpha 1S with a single blow. So get a little closer here without pushing him. Oh! <laughs> so he's actually able to knock down something that's actually significantly bigger than him. That's actually pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and try this against the original Ginkgo Rex next and see exactly how this thing handles. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Round one, fight. Oh, that came off. Ha <laughs> ha 
Teleport. have it this here's the all-new Ginker X shield mountain by GGS robot definitely a great addition to the whole Ginker X family and it is a bit of a drawback that it's only available in the Chinese market but it kind of gives you an idea where they're going and hopefully what to see in the future now if you guys have any questions at all feel free to comment down below otherwise thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time take care now bye bye